be honest, your guy surprised me. He, he put in the work. I thought he yeah. was going to gas after a round. No, no, he, he put in the work. And um, and like I said, I mean, we didn't have a camp where no coach was blowing smoke up his ass like Shannon was doing with him. You're going to be a world champion in three in three years. You're going to... You got good legs and you're white. What the fuck that mean? That don't mean shit. They ain't got shit to do with boxing. <laughs> you know, and, and basically, and that's exactly why they lost. Because of inflating yeah, somebody's so. ego and not putting in the work for it. Mm. You know, I mean, this motherfucker suffered in our camp. How bad? I mean, to the point where, I mean, we had days where his body needed rest. And the worst part was that him trying to impress everybody and sometimes him impressing people was him going the extra mile that he didn't need and so like for instance if, if the coach said go three miles no to impress the coach you're going to run four miles no stay your ass here you know and, and so at one point everybody got really mad and was like pushing him but still I said you don't push like that I mean I've learned a long time ago that you can push a person in a, in a positive way, even though you're trying to change the negative. And basically, the way you do that is this. It's basically you pretty much you say, look, let's try it this way. As opposed to, you ain't shit, you ain't not doing shit, you know. I mean, that's, that's ridiculing a person, you know. But I mean, if I'm saying the same thing and saying, let's just do it this way and let's change it. They're, they're more accepted, to, you know, to, to do it that way. And that's basically, you know, that's what we did in camp. And, and, once, and once after that, we got on the right page. Everybody was in support of everything moving forward. And, and he got better and he got better and better. Let me ask you this, honestly speaking. Did yeah. you feel silly at all or feel weird at all? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, in the beginning when this was uh, approached to you and even leading up to this? No. No? No, because, I mean, I've always been open to change. And if you're not open to change and evolution, you're lost. You just get fucking lost in, lost in time. So, no, not, not me, no. What'd you tell Kelly the case I when he was dropped? He seemed to be I wasn't in this there. corner. No, I wasn't in the corner. Okay. Um, how much do you think this is going to affect boxing? I'm moving on like you're saying. You got to change the time or you get lost. Do you think we'll get these kind of hybrid fights in the future? Yep. Like I think that this is the new trend of boxing. You're going to get guys that are actors, singers, and they're going to be headlining cars like this. Is that a good thing? I mean, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing, but it's a business thing. So if, 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 I, can get, if I can get a sellout crowd and then, you know, and then have fucking probably 40 million people watching this shit somewhere else, hell yeah, it's good. It's great. Okay. It's great for the person that's promoting it. Jeff, um, did you see the curses they made tonight and throughout your career? Did you ever get that kind of night, that big payday? Fuck no. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you motherfuckers make way more than way more money I ever seen. 900,000. Guaranteed. Shit. They made more than that. How would that make you Believe me, they weigh yeah. way more than that. I know they did. <laughs> way more than that. How would that have made you feel as a professional fighter back in the day? Fighters like kids making this kind of money. And Shit, I would feel great. No, but you, well, you think like, okay, he made more than Saunders. Saunders made 750. Daney, uh, Devin Haney made a million, but they, all the other guys? They made more than anybody on this card. Yeah, they did. So, yeah, I wish I was. I wish I was one of them motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs>